Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a grocery haul from two stores and I found some amazing deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. As you know, this is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. Get yourself ready for the new year. You want to hit your weight loss goals in 2024. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's head into the kitchen for this grocery haul. So here is my haul for the week. I shopped at both Walmart and Sprouts. I found some really, really good deals. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. Let's start with Sprouts. I mainly went there for produce and then I found some great deals in the meat section. So I did get some organic zucchini and yellow squash. We have a Blackstone grill and our plan over the weekend is to grill a bunch of meat and veggies for the week. That way we have protein on hand, veggies on hand, and it just tastes so good on the Blackstone grill. So I did get zucchini and yellow squash for that. They had my favorite little mini Persian cucumbers by Buy one, get one half off. So I got two bags. I like to chop these up. We like to have these as a snack on salads. Speaking of salad, their salad kits are also buy one, get one half off. So I picked up a dill pickle and a Caesar. Dill pickle's my favorite. Troy really likes Caesar. I thought we could air fry some just bare chicken strips or nuggets and throw that on top of the salad for a quick and easy meal. And then I did get some pineapple. It was on sale for $2. I love pineapple on my cottage cheese. So I thought that I would have that to top some cottage cheese. A red onion for a recipe, a bell pepper for a recipe, and then green onions for a recipe. Mushrooms, I'm going to throw on the Blackstone grill with regular onions. These are sweet onions. I'm going to slice these up and we're going to grill them. My favorite thing on the grill, on the Blackstone grill is the onion, so good. So I'm gonna do this whole bag and then a pack of mushrooms. And then I did get a little Theo milk and cookies chocolate bar. I'm putting together a little gift for my boot camp instructor just from me. We do a exchange at our party, but I wanted to get her something just for me. So I'm doing a little self care gift for her because she doesn't ever give herself self care. She's so busy with kids and training that I wanted to do something special for her this year. So I did grab her a little milk chocolate bar as part of her gift. And then, like I said, in the meat section, I scored. So this is chicken Italian sausage. $4.54, all natural, a lot of organic grass-fed meats at Sprouts. These are just amazing deals. So I picked up two pounds, and then I found some 85.15 ground beef for Troy, $8.99 for two pounds. Is that right? Yeah, two pounds. That's a really, really good deal. And then on the Blackstone, we love to throw steak on there. So I did pick up a couple different steaks. These are the Angus beef steaks. Yeah, 100% grass-fed Angus beef, six thirty-eight, and then five bucks, so not bad at all. And then I also grabbed two roasts. This is grass-fed, 100% grass-fed roasts. These were $9.75 and $12.21. I do wanna do a pot roast in the crock pot. It's one of our favorite meals with potatoes, carrots, so good. So these roasts, killer deal. Anytime I buy reduced meat, I just throw it in my freezer until I need it. So that is everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into Walmart. So I bought some toys. Now you might be wondering, why are you buying toys? Well, my boot camp group has decided to sponsor a family for Christmas. And and we are all purchasing things on these this family's list, mainly their two boys. So I got so much fun stuff. It kind of makes me wish I had kids because there's so many fun toys. So I did get this Nerf set. That way they would, there's two boys, they would each have a gun. And then apparently they love Marvel. And I found this cute little Marvel t-shirt and it is 80 degrees today. So it is t-shirt weather still. So I thought that that would be fun. And then it said that they loved animal figurines, the littlest boy. So I found this little dino transporter. It makes obnoxious noise, but listen, the parents have to deal with it, not me. And I think it's super, super cute. And there's a couple dinosaurs in the back. And then I found these little safari animals. These were like $1.30 a piece. So I got an elephant, a giraffe, and a 
camel. And then it said that they liked craft things. They love Marvel. So I got this Spider-Man and Friends, Spidey and Friends little coloring set. I thought that that would be good. It would keep the kids busy. So I'm going to throw all this in a gift bag and drop it off for the kids. I also grabbed a poinsettia. I've been wanting one for my kitchen island. I just wasn't going to pay $20 at Sprouts or Fries, and they were $5.97 at Walmart, and she's beautiful. So she's gonna go right here on my kitchen island. I also got two gallons of milk for Troy. They were out of 1%, so I ended up having to get him fat-free milk. Quite a few canned things. I needed a can of black beans. I am making a high-protein chili. Uh, you'll see that in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, and stay tuned after the grocery haul for my meal plan. But I needed black beans for the chili, and then I also needed kidney beans. I always buy my beans organic because they are on the Dirty Dozen. And then I needed a can of corn for the chili. Also a can of diced tomatoes. Tomato sauce also for the chili and then diced green chilies. I also got some egg whites for my breakfast meal prep, plus I just like having egg whites on hand. I found these in the reduced bakery section. These are cinnamon muffins. I got these for Troy. I thought that would be a quick, easy breakfast for him. And then I did get some sweet relish for a recipe, and I saw that they had the no sugar added. I didn't know that they had that at Walmart in the squeezy tube, so I grabbed that. And then for the grill, we're also going to grill burgers. So I needed some buns for the burger for the burger been on a queso kick I don't know why but I like it with my ground turkey I make a little like southwest bowl I've been sharing it a lot on my Instagram and I shared it also in my what I eat in a day this last week I really like having just a tablespoon or two of queso it just gives some really good flavor and then I did get Troy's dip, his French onion dip. He loves this from Daisy. And then I am going to make cupcakes for my boot camp Christmas party. And I thought, let's just make my life easy and buy a cake mix. So I did. This will make making cupcakes a lot easier. I have frosting, sprinkles, food coloring left over from my Christmas cookie. So I'm gonna make Christmas cupcakes for that. Speaking of Christmas, I did grab the zero sugar peppermint mocha. You guys already know this is my very favorite coffee creamer in literally the whole world and I'm out. So I picked that up. The burgers for our grilling, I got these 100% Angus beef burgers for Troy and then I got myself 93.7. These are just a little bit too many calories, points, fat for me. So I did grab a four pack of 93.7. That way I can also enjoy a burger. And then I got two cottage cheese. They don't carry good culture at my Walmart and it was almost $6 each at Sprouts. I just couldn't do it. These were like $2.88. If I can't find good culture, Daisy's the next best. It has good ingredients and it has it has clean ingredients and it has no carrageenan. So I picked up two because I plan on having cottage cheese for a snack and I actually need it for a recipe. I grabbed some little wavy chips for Troy so that he can dip it into the French onion dip. And then I needed some light cheese for a recipe, so I picked up provolone. I also thought that that would be really good on our burgers once we grill them on the Blackstone this weekend. And then last but not least at Walmart, I grabbed some bananas just for a fruit this week. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Hello, oh, Miss Lola. Hi, honey. Here's what's on my menu for the week. Tonight, Saturday, you know we always do out for dinner. We're barbecuing on our Blackstone on Sunday. Monday, I'm doing that slow cooker protein chili. Again, you guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing chicken fried rice. Thursday and Friday, we do leftovers as well. That way, we finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what's on the menu for Monday's meal prep. You're not gonna wanna miss it. For breakfast, I'm making egg white bites and I have the best, most convenient little egg bite maker that we'll be using. And then for lunch, I'm doing a Big Mac smash burger taco. Apparently this is all the rage. I have never tried it, so I'm excited for that. And then for a snack, I'm gonna be making gingerbread cookies. I've been craving gingerbread. So stay tuned again on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. I got some really great deals at Sprouts. I'm so happy about that. I love a good meat deal. Let me know down below. Comment down below. Do you love a good meat deal as well? I thrive on those. It really helps me get in my protein for much more affordable prices. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. Again, we would love to have you. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.